Hewson with the Players Network, and we're here at Johnny Chan's Poker Party. It's at the Hard Rock Suite with the bowling alley. I think we should check it out. I heard it's really hot. Okay. Good night. Oh, 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 we're doing an interview. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. We're here with the one and all Johnny Chan. How are you? Let me tell you. This is very exciting. I mean, I never expect that many people show up. <laughs> the place is packed. There's only 50% of the people here. They're all here for you? Absolutely. I mean, tomorrow I'm playing the big one, so it's going to be exciting. So are you able to party tonight, or do you have to get up early? I'm going to party tonight. Tomorrow, you know, it start at noon, so I can show up around 1230. It's cool. cool. And also, uh, you know, I launched ChanPoker.com, so it's going to be exciting. So where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hong Kong. I grew up in Houston. Moved to Vegas in 78. I never looked back, and I love it. Ooh, I that, love this city. I was born in 78. Oh, really? Ooh. Jesus, I wish I was born in 78. It's a special year. <laughs> yeah, it's a good year. It was a good year. So at what age did you start playing poker? When I was 16. All he did is put Mr. C, how much money do you need? <laughs> how did you play poker at 16 in Las Vegas? They ne back then, they don't care how old you are. As long as you got money, they let you play. You married, family, girlfriend? <laughs> I'm just looking at you. I didn't think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see. I think, I think he's married. Are you a fan of Johnny Chan? Yes, I think he's a great guy. So much fun. So nice. Are you playing in the tournament? Uh, the World Series? Yes. How's it going? Uh, I, I did well in some of the smaller events, but not so well in the main series. Like, just couldn't hit a break. Now, when did you start playing poker? A few years ago. Well, that's it from Players Network. We will see you next time. I'm here in the center of the action here at South Point, and as you can see, it just doesn't get any better than this. With table games like Craps, Baccarat, 21, Roulette, Pi Gow, and Three Card Poker, anyone can get their game on here. Thanks, Chris. Now, I just heard the Sox ace is pitching tonight, and he's only minus 150. Oh, I am all over that. Now, for those of you who want to experience the fun of sports wagering but aren't sure what to do, don't worry about it. The friendly staff here at South Point will guide you through the process. $18 straight bet on 11.46. See how easy that was? I'm here at Fever, the nightclub at South Point. Seven nights a week, you'll hear live music and popular DJs. Thanks, Chris. We're here in the climate-controlled horse stalls at the Equestrian Center. Some of the nicest horse stalls in the country are located right here, and some very special friends of mine are very happy to be here. They're performing here at the Equestrian Arena, and they are getting the star treatment, something we'd like to call horse fatality. There's a farrier center, vet, and feed store on premises, so all your equestrian needs will be met if you or your prize investment will be staying here at South Point. So, Cisco, are you having a good time? You comfortable? Well, she seems to be happy. We'll continue this conversation. Back to you, Allison. Hi, I'm Stacy Fusen, and we're here at the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. The girls are ready to go out, and now it's time for Fashions That Rock. While it's still really early, the divisions have started to take shape. The big stories in my book were the collapse of the Yankees and the Cardinals, and not just because I predicted that they would. I mean, to be honest, I thought these two teams would never be this bad. I mean, the Yankees won 97 games last year, and the Cardinals are the reigning world champs. Now they are both in last place. I personally think that the Cards can bounce back. They are in a weak division, and once they get Carpenter back, they'll be in the hunt. But what happened to the Yankees? I guess 200 million just doesn't buy you that much anymore. Beautiful, articulate, and stylish. This year's St. Pauli Girl spokesmodel brings the brand to life for consumers and retailers alike. Hi, I'm Stacy Fusen, your 2005 St. Pauli Girl.